guys this is amazing we are at some little point here at peekaboo trail bryce canyon it's a little bit of a risky spot <laughs> <laughs> look where we are that's just a straight drop down there and we're just standing on the edge right here Morning world, 26th of August 2018, back in Bryce Canyon National Park. Robin Hood in the house. <laughs> Robin Whale, I meant. Anyway, we're doing a different trail today. We're doing the Navajo Queens combination loop. I'll throw it up on the screen with the information. It's one of the most popular trails here at Bryce Canyon. We'll give you the best footage, the best experience, so you know what to expect when you come here. I think we're also going to do peekaboo as well. What a great place to wake up to, huh? These are the views. Look at that. So I think that's the Navajo loop down there. I think that's what we'll be going down. Yeah. Somebody's a little bit inspired at Sunset Point. I'm not afraid to say that it's brought me to tears this morning. It literally has. So beautiful. There are so many people here, it's probably best to come here around sunrise or just after, or around sunset. Otherwise you're just going to get hundreds of people, literally hundreds of people. Um, all fighting for a place to take a photograph, Instagram. So, anyway, I'll do my best. I'll do my best to capture videos and photos without hundreds of people in them. All right, Two Bridges is closed. We're not able to hike any further than this, so we're turning around. And we're going to continue with Navajo combination loop. Nice. Yes. So we've just broken off the Navajo trail and we're on the Peekaboo trail now. Uh, it's a longer hike. Throw the map up so you can see. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool so far. Don't know how many hours we'll be doing this for. Hope you're having a super awesome day. I'm just sitting on this rock here. One of the hoodoos, they call them, uh, in the middle of Bryce Canyon. I'll turn you around, check that out. How awesome is that? I'm sitting on a rock and I'm inside the actual canyon itself. You won't be able to see it too well on the screen, but you'll see the tree line is the rim of the crater. And that's where we were yesterday. If you saw yesterday's video, all of the shots that you saw were taken from up on that rim and that rim runs right across right around and right now i'm inside the what they call the basin trees and then all these little hoodoos which are like statues for as far as the eye can see now in the shot that i'm on now you won't be able to see it too clearly but i'm sitting on one of those things and you'll see just even here We've got the white tops of these hoodoos, which is the hard layer. Then you have the red color, which is the lower part, which is apparently the softer layer. That's all I know about these things. Pretty cool, huh? It's one of these places you come to to think about life. It's one thing to see it from the rim and to get a nice wide perspective, but it's another thing to actually get in here and sit on top of a hoodoo. It's pretty cool. And uh, otherwise, I'm going to continue showing you some really nice cinematic footage with my cool little camera moving forward. The 
Peekaboo Trail, Bryce Canyon National Park. So, been on this trail for a little bit now. It's very peaceful and not many people on this trail, which is great because if you look at the visitor's map, it says that this trail is very strenuous and it's about six or seven hours long. And I think that freaks a lot of people out, um, which is great for us because I like to do what most other people don't do, which means you get a lot of this to yourself and your camera. You don't have to worry about dodging people with a camera. So all the photos and video that you've seen so far have been taken on Peekaboo. Probably one of the most amazing parts of this trail. If you come and do this trail, you have to check out this area. I don't think you can miss it. It does definitely stand out as a feature of this trail. I think it's called Wall of Windows on the map. I'm really impressed by that, folks. This is what I'm talking about, right there. Check that out, nice little slot in the canyon. Let's walk through it. Wow. Robsy Whaley is ahead of me. Got the camera handy, about to open up to a big wide shot. Oh gosh, look at that. Oh, no way. Yes, way. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's just ridiculous. Gosh, what a view. It's absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like it. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. We've just finished several trails. We've done the Navajo loop, combination loop, and we've done the peekaboo. That's it, done the peekaboo loop. Anyway, uh, that was all the previous video content. Now, Robin has made the decision to do the longest trek on the map. I'll throw it up on the damn screen. That's what we're doing right now. We're walking Lower Tower Bridge. We're on this dirt track and there's no one else around except us. Sorry about the wind, I really do apologize. It won't be for much longer, but look at this trail. This is actually my favorite part of this piece of trail. There's no one else around, but like, look how desolate that is. It's just incredible. And this is trail on the side of these hoodoos. Look at those things, how cool. If you ever come to Bryce Canyon, make sure you get a chance to check out this trail because there's absolutely nobody here. And uh, there's not as many hoodoos here though than the other trails, but nevertheless, you can't argue with that. I mean, that's just divine nature right there. 